Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather around the table of the Lord's Word and Body, seeking and asking God to bless the whole world, most especially for our brothers and sisters in the Middle East for the gift of peace. We celebrate this Eucharistic celebration in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Peace. May the Blessed Mother, Our Lady Queen of Peace, pray for each one of us and always lead us to learn from the, pin from the Prince of Peace, which is her son himself, Jesus. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and shortcomings and beg the good Lord for His mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, you sent your only Son to bring peace to our world. Through the intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, hear our earnest prayer. Grant that our times may be tranquil, so that we may live in peace as one family, united in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I know that good does not dwell in me, that is, in my flesh. The willing is ready at hand, but doing the good is not. For I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who, de who do it, but sin that dwells in me. So then I discovered the principle that when I want to do right, evil is at hand. 
for I take delight in the law of God, my inner self. But I see in my members another principle, at war with the law of my mind, taking me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Miserable one that I am, who will deliver me from this mortal body? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, teach me your statutes. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, teach me your statutes. Never will I forget your precepts, for through them you give me life. Lord, teach me your statutes. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As I have made mention at the beginning of the Eucharist, we offer this Holy Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Peace, as we join the Holy Father, Pope Francis himself, in this worldwide day of prayer, penance, and fasting for peace in the whole world, most especially for our brothers and sisters struggling in the Middle East. And it is just fitting that as we pray for peace, we have heard from our readings today a very powerful way so that we can hope 
achieve and embrace peace. And that is to learn from Jesus. The ability to be still teachable from someone up there. Teachable because of God. St. Paul was just aware of his weaknesses. He was aware of the goodness of his life, but still he can face or still do something that is wrong. But life didn't end there. Knowing that Jesus is there to rescue him, as we have heard his exclamation towards the end, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ. He learned how to be renewed. And similarly, we have uh, made mention or repeated this for many times in our responsorial psalm. Lord, teach me your statutes. And in our gospel, we heard Jesus addressing the crowd and naming them hypocrites because they lacked learning from the Master, from Jesus himself. If we would like to describe peace, mar marahil ordinaryo na po yung mga symbols of handshaking, peace sign, a warm conversation of peaceful talks. But can we also add a new expression how it is to be peaceful by learning from Jesus? Because more than being peaceful, magaan, malaya, nakakapagpatawad tayo, a peaceful person would always lean his or her ears to the words and life of Jesus. A peaceful person would not boast other people or point fingers to others dahil kasalanan nyo to. Peace will not prevail with that. But a peaceful person knows how to say, at that it is God helping me as I suffer. A peaceful person would not boast himself and say that I know everything. Because a peaceful person would say and pray, Lord, teach me your ways. A peaceful person is no hypocrite because by learning from Jesus, a peaceful person lives in honesty. Kung nawawala na ang kapayapaan sa ating paligid, baka po kasi nagmamayabang na po tayo at unti-unti nang nawawala sa priority tignan at pakinggan ang Diyos. Maybe there is the absence of peace because we now neglect learning from Jesus and instead point fingers to each other, show ourselves our pride. And maybe there is no peace within us because we ourselves are not humble enough to seek the guidance of God and to say in, and pray in humility, teach me your ways. My dear brothers and sisters, to be at peace is not only to be, is not only to experience stillness, but also by being little, by being humble, by learning from Jesus. It might also be a good practice for each of us that as we seek, pray, and desire peace with each other, let the bedrock of every peacemakers 
be encounter, be an encounter with the Prince of Peace. Bago makipag-ayos, magdasal. Bago makipag-usap, makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Bago humingi ng tawad, kumapit sa Diyos. And let the Prince of Peace move our hearts, teach us is teach us His ways, and lead us to peaceful dealings with each other, and to begin again this beautiful life in peace and with great love for one another. Please stand. The Lord Jesus tells us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for the Lord's return. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression, and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may become more aware of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers, prayers for peace, for order and love for each other, for the whole world. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other and our own intentions. For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us. Make us closer to you each day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Lord, as we lovingly venerate Blessed, Ever Blessed Mary Ever Virgin as Queen of Peace, we offer you the sacrifice of reconciliation. Be pleased with our offering and bestow on your family the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, and as we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is your lowly handmaid, receiving your word from the angel Gabriel and conceiving in her virginal womb the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. She is the faithful mother, standing fearless beside the cross as her Son sheds his blood for our salvation and reconciles all things to himself in peace. She is the disciple of Christ and daughter of peace, joining in prayer with the apostles as she awaits your promised gift, the spirit of unity and peace, of love and of joy. Now, with the angels and all the, and all the saints, we praise you forever as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Coming together as one family with confidence, we call on God our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity on this memorial of Our Lady Queen of Peace, so that refreshed by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to still invite all of you to join us in our holy hour for peace later at 11 in the morning to be led by our rector, Monsignor Rolando de la Cruz. And uh, within the holy hour, we shall also offer the Holy Rosary as we continue this month of the Rosary and offer our prayers for peace in the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
Thank you.